Hi guys, today we're going to put a rubber band on this sandal or flip-flop to turn it into a rubber band powered car. Now I'm going to make this a bit quicker than the previous episodes because I'm going to use some wheels that I've already put together. So these are ordinary CDs. I put pretty coloured sticky back plastic on them already and I've also glued bottle tops to the middle so we can use them as hubs for the axles to go through. So that just saved me doing that but if you're not sure how to do that there'll be a link up in the uh, corner of the screen I think it's this corner actually to my little help file of short videos on how to do rubber band powered car components such as the wheels or how to put uh, rubber on the outside to give us extra grip so that link will be up here somewhere first thing we need to do is decide whether the wheels are going to go underneath or at the side and I'm going to put them at the sides uh, like that. Next thing we need to decide is do we actually want to cut this apart in any way or do we want to leave it so we can use it again at some time as a proper sandal and I'm going to do minimum damage to it. What I'm going to do is use this bit of foam, uh, that's the tray that our pizzas come on from the supermarket. It's styrofoam or polystyrene, it's about two or three millimeters thick. I'm going to use that to make up a car chassis to go underneath to actually support the axles so they don't, we don't actually have to cut into this at all. I'll be using bamboo skewers as the axles and I'll have to find some drinking straws, that's the remains of one, to use as the axle tubes. But the first thing I'm going to do is cut some strips out of this, see what sort of length we can get out of it. It's about 10 inches diameter roughly. Cut a couple of strips like that and hot glue them onto the bottom of the shoe because that will give us the clearance for the axles to go underneath. Widthwise,
So I'll use some hot glue and just glue that up. Like that to give us a bit of a box section. The purpose of this is to keep the axles parallel. So I've cut these to be the same length and then we're using all straight edges and right angles so we should get it running straight. Let that cool down. To give it a bit of extra strength, I've cut some triangles here. They're right angles there because I cut a square and then cut it in half, corner to corner. So that should make it a bit stronger. Got a couple of drinking straws. So we're going to glue this on the bottom. And we want the wheels to be far enough out so they don't actually touch any of the shoe. So we need to make sure we cut these wide enough to clear the shoe. It might be easiest just to put a bit of hot glue on here to hold it in place while we're working on it. Front axle tube, so we need to make sure it's wide enough so the wheels don't rub on the shoe. Let that cool down a bit. Same at the back. It's got to be wide enough to clear the wheels.
and then just add a little bit of extra Right, we'll let that cool down for a minute and then we need to cut the inside here so we've got somewhere to connect the rubber band to the back axle. Front axle. Make sure there's a gap. One thing I've just thought about, I've got a bit of a spare barbecue skewer there. I'm going to push it through down here. So we can attach the rubber band to it. That'll save us crushing the tube. Okay, that's nice and free. Back axle. If you're worried about that, you could add a couple more triangles of foam to strengthen that. But I'm going to leave it like it is. Right. Back axle. Now we need some rubber bands. Not quite sure how I ended up with white rubber bands. Hmm, probably some sort of silicon anyway. Anyway, we need to attach one to the barbecue skewer. So I'll just push it through underneath. and then push it through itself so it's attached and then same sort of connection push that through there and then through itself I think we can use one more Yep, just the right length. So we can wrap that around there so it's going over itself. Then we can wind it up. Or we can stick a bit of barbecue skewer to there at a right angle. For a T-shape, just like that. So we'll leave that to cool down. Make sure it doesn't hit the bodywork. 
we've just shortened it a bit. Rub the band over there. It needs to be that way round to wind it up. And turn it over the right way up and let it go. Yeah, that looks okay. I'll wind it up a bit more. Bit of wheel spin there. If you check out the video description, as I've already mentioned, there'll be a link to my help files, which include putting rubber tyres on the cars. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered flip-flop or sandal. We've used four CDs for the wheels or DVDs would work. Eight bottle tops for the hubs for each wheel, two for each wheel. I've hot glued them in place. We've got barbecue skewers for the axles. Drinking straws for the axle tubes, a bit of scrap foam to build up a chassis. Main point of building that up was to make sure that we had the axles parallel. By using two strips the same length, we make sure that the front axle is parallel with the back axle. Then the drinking straw axle tubes, we cut a gap in the back one so that we can wind up the rubber band, attach it to the back axle and I've also glued a little piece of barbecue skewer at right angles or T-shape so we can hook the rubber band on easily and you can't do that with one hand or can we? Oh, there we go And that's it. Job done. Oh, nearly forgot. I also put an extra bit of barbecue skewer through there so that we're attaching the rubber band to a barbecue skewer and not attaching it to the front axle tube. Because if we bend that, that will cause friction on the axle and slow it down. <laughs>